Hello and welcome to Tim <laughs> Tutorials with Tim. What we're going to go ahead and do in this one is show you how to use the uh, autopilot settings or system in your 737-800 here. <clears throat> go ahead and get up in the air so we can uh, start this tutorial here for you and go over the uh, autopilot settings itself. back a little bit here and we are up let's put some gear up so what we're going to go ahead and do and focus on is since we're now airborne we want to go ahead and get the autopilot engaged and uh, also turned on here so uh, zoom in over here get closer for this so you can see so you're going to want to turn the flight director switch on you want to arm your auto throttle okay and then this is your altitude obviously so let's just we're going to say 6,000 feet to get to the 6,000 feet we're going to go ahead and hit vertical speed and we're going to turn that down to you know uh, let's say 2700 and then hit command autopilot that turns autopilot on now it's going to auto level based on the flight director itself to achieve a 2700 foot per minute climb to the 6000 so we're also we have a navigation obviously set up so we're gonna go ahead and if our in our FMC as you see we have our flight plan here you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna click the L nav and that's gonna go ahead and automatically start to turn this plane and uh, get to our flight path that we're supposed to be on. Um, also, technically speaking, you're not supposed to go over 250 knots under 10,000 feet. So just keep an eye on your speed. And when we get to the you know point, we can turn it on now just to show you here. You're gonna click the speed button, and it's gonna automatically set it to the current speed that you're at. Obviously, you can go up to 250. So I generally go a little bit below. So I'll set it to you know 245. And then that pretty much is a safe setting, and you don't have to really worry about uh, overspeeding that at all here. Uh, so as you can see, we're climbing and we're turning to get back onto our point, and you can see our pink line here, and that's where the aircraft's actually going to uh, go ahead and turn to. And once we level out here at 6,000, which we are, you're going to notice a couple things. Your vertical speed light is no longer on, and your altitude hold light is illuminated that's normal that's that's how this works so we've pretty much stopped we're at our 6,000 feet as you can see over here now to go up and to go down this is what you do now at 6,000 feet this isn't like what it is in FSX where as you change this the plane is going to start to climb or descend it's not the same thing so you're safe it'll stay 6,000 feet so let's say we want to go to 7,500 feet so let's just change this and we'll go to 7,500 feet. All right, once you have whatever altitude you want, then go ahead and click vertical speed. Now it's still gonna maintain that 6,000 until you start and you come over here and you go up and down on your vertical speed. So we wanna go up and let's just go up. We wanna climb at uh, say 1,500 feet per minute. So then that's gonna pitch this plane up and it's going to start to climb as you can see it's climbing mm -hmm. 
Now as it gets closer, the light's going to also switch again. And you'll see here. It will stop. And right about now, yeah, there you go. It will engage the altitude hold and it'll maintain its climb and level out to maintain that altitude of 7,500 feet. Same concept, same pro or process to decrease altitude. We're at the 7,500 feet. Once that levels out, you can go ahead and you can change this in the altitude setting itself. So we'll level that out there where it's leveling. And let's say we want to go back down to 7,000 feet. So you go to 7,000 in vertical speed. Now you want to go down. So let's climb or let's descend at 500 feet per minute. And then you'll start to see your instruments notifying you that you're now descending at, well, this will say 600 and it'll go back down to, there you go, your 500 feet. And you can see the altitude starting to go down. And it's pretty much that simple. That's how this autopilot works. Um, there's not much else to the actual autopilot itself uh, when it comes to increasing and decreasing in altitude. But again, just remember, you have a flight plan in your FMC and you're flying LNAV. Uh, VNAV is a, a little bit different breed. Uh, for lack of a better term or for this simplicity of this video and the fact that these are tutorials, I'm going to go ahead and say that this is more for an advanced um, user. You just don't want to overwhelm yourself, obviously, with a whole bunch of different options and choices until you're comfortable with the basics. Once you're comfortable with the basics and the you know the common processes, then we'll start to get a little bit more complicated situations. But LNAV stands for lateral navigation, so this is going to control your left and your right. Um, you're turning and so on and so forth as the airport, you know, as the aircraft's doing now to maintain these lines. Um, that's going to be your LNAV, your VNAV, obviously, for vertical navigation. You can use the combination of the both of them, but this is where this comes in right here. So you'll see over here in your flight plan where it has, you know, 0.8 for your mock speed um, at this flight level, flight level 27. And as we go here, we'll go to the next page, you'll start to see this is where it's going to start to engage your descents and at let's say the Elra waypoint you're not, you need to be at 18,000 feet and then X marks you need to be at 11,000 so on and so forth and it it's just going to keep going and going and going that's what your VNAV will do your VNAV will automatically make sure and descend and set up your descent rates to achieve this altitude at those specific points that you need to be at um, as well as your speed will be determined by that setting that you put in here. Your speed's not going to change automatically uh, per point, but it will change to exactly what you have in here. So this is your descent speed is a 0.75 or 0.74 Mach, and then 290 knots is what the, your decrease is at, or your descent rate's at. So that's pretty much it as far as the autopilot goes. Um, that's how you, like I said, oop, that's how you will change. So again, we're at 7,000. We want to go to, let's just say, I'm obviously, it's going to take a little while to get to 30,000 feet. But you get the idea, whatever altitude you have it set, boom, click vertical speed, and then you can go ahead and you can change whatever you want to climb at, uh, you know, through this option right here. And it's going to stop and switch back to altitude hold at 8,680 feet. And then you have to go through the same process. So that's simple enough as it is there, but that's how you do it. I know that there's confusion between FSX and the X-Planes 11 you know, platforms. So this is the solution. This is how you work with the autopilot. And um, our next video that we'll do is going to be setting up uh, your course your nav and also your auto land options for autopilot itself so stay tuned look forward to that video um, if it's already up find that video and that'll show you how to make autopilot in a sense land the aircraft for you 
Again, thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Please like my videos. And until next time, have a good one.